What would you identify as the biggest threat to your joy this week? You have one? More than one? If you do, then we can find some encouragement from the very big threat that the Israelites faced in Deuteronomy chapter 3. Moses reminded them of a confrontation they had with another king, this one named Og. And Og was a big threat, literally. He was, he was a giant. We're told that he had, a, he had a bed made of iron that was at least 13 feet long and 6 feet wide. And that um, doesn't say this in the verses here in Deuteronomy chapter 3, but... We, uh, we know that, well, it seems that his bed became like a tourist attraction <laughs> later on after he died, that people were so impressed by it, that this giant lived or slept in this bed that, that people came to visit it. He also had uh, a gigantic influence in the land. When, by, the time the Israelites, the, by the time the Israelites came to meet him and, and had to conquer him in order to get into the promised land, he ruled over 60 different cities. And the Israelites needed to conquer every one of them in order to get past him. Which is why what God said to the Israelites at the beginning of Deuteronomy chapter 3 was so significant. God said to them, Don't be afraid of him, for I have already handed him and all of his lands into your hands. They could go into the battle feeling confident. They could, they could take, take their next steps with confidence because God promised them a victory over this giant and everything that was attached to him. God has also made the same promise to you in so many different places in Scripture, but the one that comes to mind right now is from Philippians chapter 2, where it says that one day every knee will bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And if every knee will bow, bow to Jesus in heaven and on earth and under the earth, basically means any threat to your faith, anyone who opposes God, any giant obstacle to your joy, will one day acknowledge that they were too weak to go against our Lord. And what kind of Lord? The one that we see in Philippians chapter 2, that section where it talks about the end result of Jesus being victorious over all of those things is, it's a beautiful section of scripture that reminds us of his humility, his humility in serving and loving you, a humility that led him to lower himself, to place himself into the womb of a fragile human being, and to stay in there for nine months until it was time to be born in human skin, that one day was going to be pierced with nails and have blood run down it, his own blood. Just to guarantee that there would be nothing in your life, there would be no temptation, there would be no enemy that was going to get in the way of, of you being able to celebrate your victory in the end. Whatever the giant is to your joy this week, just step forward with confidence, knowing that one day we'll acknowledge Jesus as King of kings and Lord of lords, and you as someone who gets to enjoy Jesus' victory right alongside of him. Rest well tonight, my friends. And then tomorrow, step forward with confidence.